quickly solve for the value of x you are welcome to my channel and then let's get straight to the business of the day first thing we need to do is um we have the same thing here and here how do we get the same thing here? how do we get x to the power of six and x to the power of six okay the only way to do that is if i raise everything to the power of six though when i do that this changes but let's see how it goes so i'm going to uh, raise each side of this equation to the power of six so i will have x to the power of x to the power of six raised to the power of six is equal to square root of two raised to the power of square root of two raised to the power of six okay now when you have a to the power of m raised to the power of n this is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by n okay and when you have something like this you can interchange the powers that means you can write this as a to the power of n raised to the power of m without changing the value okay now we are going to do the same thing here in this case we have x to the power of six that is this x is raised to the x is raised to the power of x to the power of six and also to the power of six right so if we compare this with this that means our m is what x to the power of six and this is our n and we can actually bring this in and take this one out all right that means that since this x is our base we can bring n in and take x to the power of six out that is in this form without changing anything so to do that six comes in and x to the power of six which is this goes out all right okay now similarly when you have two powers on a base i've already explained it here just multiply the two powers to do what to get one power that means i can write this as what square root of two raised to the power of six times root two will give us six root two okay so we have x to the power of six raised to the power of x to the power of six is equal to this is square root of two raised to the power of this can be written as three multiplied by two root two right because three times two will still give us six we've not changed anything all right if this is the first time you're coming across this channel please subscribe to the channel yes and turn on your notification bell so i'll be notified anytime i upload a new video and the reason also is so that i don't and don't miss any of my uploads because i know you are going to enjoy them okay i also upload at least twice daily please feel free to log in anytime you are only time you have the time all right and then watch the new uploads thank you so much and don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video please give us a thumbs up already now this is what we have here okay so we have that x to the power of six raised to the power of x to the power of six is equal to so we have root two raised to the power of three i want to bring this in then raised to the power of two root 2 right right now we have x to the power of 6 raised to the power of x to the power of 6 okay is equal to square root of 2 to the power of 3 now raised to the power of i want to bring this inside the root okay so this means i'm going to square this if i want to bring it inside so i will have square root of 2 squared will give me 4 multiply by this two that is already here yes because this is what we have now four times two will give us eight so if i distribute this as square root of four multiply by square root of two then i will have square root of four will give me two and i have root two so you can see that this is actually equal to this or this okay all right so we now have that x to the power of six raised to the power of x to the power of six is equal to we have square root of 2 to the power of 3 now raise the power of square root of what 8 okay all right now we have x to the power of 6 raise the power of x to the power of 6 is equal to square root of 2 to the power of 3 now this same thing as square root of 8 is also the same thing as 2 to the power of 3 all right all right now you can see we have the same thing here and the same thing here so that simply means that recall we are looking for the value of x so 
we are going to equate x to the power of 2 to be equal to one of these. So we have x to the power of 6, sorry, is equal to, by comparison, square root of 2 to the power of 3. Now I want to remove this 3. So to do that, I'm going to uh, raise each side of this equation to the power of 1 over 3. So I'll have x to the power of 6 raised to the power of 1 over 3 is equal to square root of 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 1 over 3. Now this, we divide this, we have 2, right? So we have x to the power of 2 is equal to square root of 2. So we have to get the value of x. We need, to, we need to take the square root of both sides of this equation, right? So we are going to have square root of x squared is equal to the square root of the square root of 2, plus or minus, all right? So we have, this we remove this, we have x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 2 and raised to the power of half, all right? Yes, yeah, since... Uh, square root of any number is same as that number to the power of half. So we have that x is equal to plus or minus 2 to the power of half raised to the power of what? Another half. So our x is equal to plus or minus 2 to the power of 1 over 4. So this is going to be the two values of our x. The first one is that x is equal to plus or minus 2 to the power... x is equal to 2 whole number 1, 2 to the power of 1 over 2. Ah! Sorry, let me write it out a bit so that I won't bite my tongue. So this is what I mean. That means the first value of our x is going to be the positive value of 2 to the power of 1 over 4. And the second value will be the negative value of what? That is minus 2 to the power of 1 over 4. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day. Bye.